Hi, it's Jess from the customer team. Let's have a look at the settings page in Prino. So from the home page, let's click on the settings in the top right. And this is essentially the admin side of things. So the accounts page shows you your subscription and a list of all the users. You can add as many users as you like. There's no restriction. And to add, you just click on this and enter an email and they will get a prompt and follow the instructions. You can also set the permissions for each user. And to change it, you just click on the permissions next to them and just pick and choose the level of access you want to give them. Make sure you save changes after each time. The next one down, we have the property. So this is where you enter your property details, the phone number, address, uh, arrival and departure time. You can also upload your logo, which will be displayed on the receipt to give it that personal touch. You have your tax details here, and then the receipt template, where you can customize the footer, change the receipt title, decide to make it GST exclusive or inclusive. And on the registration card template on the footer, a lot of our customers like to add their terms and conditions and cancellation policy here. Then we have the extras. So this is the preset list of extras. You can add all your products and services available on the property. You can also have um, bed configurations, which will also be displayed on the housekeeping if you add this as an extra to the booking. You can add it by going to this, enter the name, the amount, and select the relevant option or leave it blank. Then we have the integrations. This is where you connect with other software such as Xero, the accounting software, MOB Essentials, and Counter as a point of sale system. And then under payment methods, this is where you connect to your integrated payment gateway, giving you the ability to charge and store credit cards securely. And then we have the payment methods. So we have the default ones up here and then any new ones that you can add and just simply by clicking on add payment method to add as many as you like. Under the rooms, this is what feeds into the home page. We have the uh, room types on the left and the room names. These are displayed on your grid. You can change the names by clicking into it, changing it and saving it. With the rooms, you can reassign them to different room types as well. We have an exclude from occupancy option. So this is helpful when you have, you know, events, public holidays, vouchers, car parks that you want to add to the grid to track, but not have it affect your occupancy figures. Then we have uh, the option to reorder the rooms and room types on the grid. And we have a connected rooms option, which can be used if it applies to your property. Next, we have these awesome emails. We have automated emails as well, which you can set up, not worry about, and save you time. So you can create as many templates as you like. Here are ones I prepared earlier. Example here with a guest receipt. So you enter the template name, the subject name, and the contents. We have insert tag drop down. We can pick all the relevant information you want to display. The guest receipt is at the very bottom, and this is sent as an attachment in the email. Remember to save your changes. Once you've created your templates, you can create as many automated emails you want. So you just go new auto email. You pick your template and you just decide on the trigger event on when you want to send it out. You have the option to send a general one to everyone or you can do rule specific ones to certain companies and agents. Make sure you name it and save your changes. Then we have our profile where you can update your username and password and also change the grid preference based on the size and the view you'd like by default. And this is the settings page of Prino.